probably anticipated he was going to do something like this sometime, so I guess better now than never. Okay, I have uh, everybody stand by. We'll just deal with the circumstances the best we can. Thank you for letting me know. Can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? I would like everybody to refrain from asking questions until after the seminar. And will you please welcome Dr. Jason Rickett. Patient Ryan Coburn. Delusional architecture consists of paranoid delusions of beings penetrating the third dimension. Claims to have had physical, mental communication with otherworldly beings. Experiences bouts of insomnia mixed with extreme periods of exhaustion. Patient is not dangerous, but should be kept under close medical supervision at all times. This is great. What is it? Beer. Don't have too much of it. Why not? It makes you act weird. According to you, Doc, I've always been weird. What do you want, Ryan? You escaped the hospital tonight, you were finally free, and now you're here instead of getting out as far away as you can. I can't just leave. Why not? Now's your chance. Go. Leave. Now. I, I, I won't follow you. I, I'll i turn my back and you can go, okay? I, I, I just, I can't do this anymore, Ryan. I cannot, I, I, I cannot do this. I'm just, I'm tired of you. You think I'm crazy, don't you? You always have. You never gave me any proof to suspect otherwise. What if I could? Ryan, please, I do not want to hear No, about... no, no, listen! You have never given me the chance to explain myself. You and your by-the-book bullshit! You listen, Ryan. Every diagnosis I have made about you in my career has been accurate. Every single doctor in the world would agree with what I've had to say. Nothing about mine has been special. You showed up at my house tonight. You showed up where I live. I should have called the cops the second you showed up, but I didn't. And do you know why? I wanted to give you the chance to explain yourself like you've been trying to do this whole time. And if you can't do that here, quietly, then I will leave. And the next time you see me, I promise will be the last. Do you understand? I understand. But 
All I want to do is convince you that I'm not crazy. I've never spoken a word to you that wasn't true. Well, this is your chance. Explain. I can't. Not here. It's not something I can say. What do you mean? Outside. Please. Enough is enough. What is this? What do you want? Jason, just get in the car. Dr. Rickett. Just get in the car. We going somewhere? Yeah. Where to? meeting taped? Yes. Alright. So, for the record, can you please state your name? But you know my name. Yes, I understand. I have that for the camera. For the record. So, for the record, please oh. state your name. My name is Ryan James Coburn. So, Ryan, as we discussed last week, your communications with them, or whatever you call them, uh, we would like to discuss more. So if you could help to elaborate on that, perhaps, uh, we're here to listen. Is there anything you'd like to say? Don't worry about that camera, okay? It's just me and you talking right now. Just me and you. Okay, Ryan. Last week when we spoke, you told me that these things were tall, uh, grayish blue, they had an irregular walk. So that's what they look like physically. Why don't you tell me now why they're communicating with you? Because he chose me. He chose you? What do you mean he chose you? I don't know why he chose me. I see him all the time. All I know is that when we all see him, we will all belong in this place. You never gave me any proof to suspect otherwise. What if I could? Aaron 
Hi everyone, this is HEAHFM. We're here with paranormal theorist Kirill Ivanovich. Mr. Ivanovich, how do you feel about the string of disappearances that have happened lately? Well, the disappearances have been unfortunate, of course, and have taken many by surprise. But truthfully, disappearances can come in many ways. Sometimes it's as oblivious as losing your way or becoming disoriented. Other times it's more serious, attributing to kidnapping and most times leading to death. Yes, I see. And in keeping with those serious disappearances, what about the times where there is no body recovered? For those occasions, as hard as we try to find out, we never can be sure. They seem to ask a bigger question. What is happening to these disappearing bodies? The answer, sadly, is not one we know yet. Very serious.